A very special exhibition is to take place at Bonhams in Edinburgh next week, highlighting treasures from Broomhall House in Fife and the Bruce family. Today, the details of the exhibits revealed that there will be some items very rarely seen, including the sword of state of Robert the Bruce. We can talk now to Lord Bruce, Charles Bruce, about this exhibition and the history of his family. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, just tell us, first of all, about the sword of state then. Uh, the sword is a 14th century item and it came into the possession of the family really as a gift from David II, who is the son of King Robert. Um, the Bruce line, as you know, died out after um, uh, David II. So that is really where the uh, the sword originated. So it's for, is it completely 14th century? I understood that some bits of it were a bit later. It's very difficult to tell. The only way you can tell authentically when a sword was made if you dug one up on a battlefield. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the blade is thought to be uh, old, isn't it? Is it the? Uh, is that is that the case? The blade is a very fine object. It's uh, the most beautiful tempered steel. It doesn't appear to have been used in battle at all. That's why we believe it was a sword of state. Wow. And just tell us what else will be on show here then. And, and where did these items come from? There are about um, 20 items and it traces about 600 years of the family's history. They've all been chosen because they connect the family to Scottish history and around the world. Uh, and uh, do they belong to you, or have you, or, or, or have they just been collected from various different places? Um, they're all in the ownership of the family, and they've come into the family uh, through um, different family members going back over the last six hundred years. Well, how do, how do they make you feel when you see these pieces and you look at this sword? Um, there's really a huge amount of curiosity, really, as to the sort of people who. Lay, who lie behind, if you like, uh, the treasures that have been collected. Uh, possibly the most, uh, the clearest indication of the character of King Robert was not the sword, but a document like the Declaration of Our Birth, which was very much uh, uh, a product of his mind. Yeah, and well, also within the, the collection and what will be on show, things like a, 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 a picture from uh, a, a a portrait, rather, um, by Alan Ramsay of Charles Bruce. Is that right? Yeah, that's a beautiful portrait by Alan Ramsay. It's from the 1760s, and it shows a man who's really at the peak of his um, of his powers, if you like. He was uh, one of the earliest um, progenitors of the Industrial Revolution in Scotland and laid out a model industrial complex, which still can be seen at Charleston in Fife. Yeah, and there's also a suit in the Bruce Tartan, and it's 18th century, isn't it, dating from about 1760. You wonder how these kind of things survived. Well, because we were much more careful in the past. <laughs> Everything was carefully put away and kept away from the moth. Yeah, this exhibition is to promote Scottish Week in Bonhams, isn't it? Um, Scottish Week, I believe, is in April, oh, and right. they've given us this opportunity to put on ex uh, to put on ex exhibition of our own items. Is it just for a week? Is it how long? It's just for a week, okay. and I recommend everyone get down to see it in <laughs> Queen Street. Lord Bruce, thanks very much indeed for joining us.